Refreshing stories. My name is Hiroshi, and this is my wife, Oriko. She was diagnosed with depression after overworking herself at her previous job, so now she stays at home during the day. How are you feeling, honey? <coughs> I'm fine, I think. Huh? Why are you coughing? Because I'm depressed. Huh? What? So depression is some kind of virus now? Yeah, it actually is. Come on, there's no way. God, but I've got to get a job soon. Don't sweat it. When you feel better, you can just be a stay-at-home wife and take care of things around the house. I'll earn twice, even thrice, what I'm making now. <laughs> What's wrong? Are you sad again? No, it's just... I've been hiding something from you. Huh? What is it? Well, I actually need to get back to work soon. Why? I used to be a gambling addict before we got married. And so I'm deep in debt, and I really need to pay it all back. Oh, I see. How much debt are you in? I actually don't know the exact figure. Like, $10,000 maybe? More. 20000 A bit more. 30000 Yeah, just about. What?! I didn't expect that! I'm so sorry. It's fine, but... I wish you would have told me sooner. But the interest is piling up as we speak. And I'm late on payments. So I was scared to tell you! Well, what's done is done. I'll do something about this. And what is something? I'm gonna start working two jobs. We're a family now. Your problems are mine as well. I promised to make you happy, didn't I? You would do that for me? I... Uh, you're too sweet! I love you, Oriko. I love you too. So that's why I got a new job and started working night shifts as a construction worker. I'm back! Hey! I'm gonna go take a shower. I gotta leave in 30 minutes. When will you come back today? Hmm. I can maybe get on the last train back. If not, I'll come back when the trains start running again in the morning. Oh well. Oh well? What are you trying to say? No, it's nothing. That was around when I started to feel like Oriko wasn't depressed at all. But I heard that some people can be depressed without showing it to others. So I didn't think too much of it. I just waited for her to get better. But that's when her treatment of me started to get gradually worse. I'm back! I ran back from work today! You're back too early! Huh? You're tired from work, aren't you? You shouldn't waste your energy on getting back from work! But I wanted to spend more time with you! I don't! My doctor said that! I needed more alone time! So if you don't have a reason to be in the house, please just stay out! That's so unfair! Did I say something to her? I couldn't really agree with her points. But spending time with her started to feel like a chore, so I did as she said, and spent more time outside of the house. But one day, my day job started giving remote working as an option, so I only had to be at the office for three or four hours every day. But that's when I found out something unbelievable. I'm home! What?! No! Why the hell are you here?! Huh? What the hell's going on?! Oriko was having an affair with this random guy while I was at work! I told you not to come home! You should at least call me! Why are you the one yelling?! You've gotta be kidding me! Oh, everything makes sense now! God damn it! Are you angry at me? Of course I am! Only a freaking psychopath wouldn't be angry in this situation! I'm so sorry! I'll break up with him right now! Here, see? Yeah, break up! But not with him! With me! What?! Then what the hell am I supposed to do?! Work, you idiot! And I'm coming for your money, too! So don't think you can get away with this! No! You... Apparently, Oriko wasn't in any debt at all! She just made that whole story up! So she was making me work my ass off for her, while she spent that money on having fun with her boyfriend! This is ridiculous! I've met a lot of nasty women, but she's gotta be in the top five! But that isn't the end of the story. A few years later, I got most of my money back from Oriko, and was living peacefully. Shigeru, you're so handsome. Well, my unnaturally high-pitched voice helps with that a lot. That's so hot! Oh, I love hearing your voice. Right? I'm not like your ex-husband. These idiots. Yeah, Hiroshi's a pain in the ass. He was so busy with work that he never spent any time with me. So when I cheat on him once, he sued me for $30,000 in damages! What a terrible man! He must be the devil! Yeah, that he is! He's probably using that money... on prostitutes at the club! These two aren't just idiots. 
They're absolutely brain dead. That's terrible! We can't let this slide! Wait, I might have figured out a way to get revenge on him! What is it? Are we gonna disable the brakes on his car? God, that's terrible! What are you, a psychopath? No, something a bit less deadly. We're gonna frame him and make it seem like he lied to get that money from you! Oh, I see. But how do we frame him? All right, listen closely. We're gonna sue him for scamming you. We're gonna make it seem like he set you up, and that way, he'll have to pay the money back to you. Really? Yep, and one of my friends is a lawyer. I think he'll be able to take this case for us. A lawyer? Wow! All right, just you wait, Hiroshi. And a few days later, huh? This letter, it's from the courthouse. When I read the letter, my jaw dropped. I was getting sued for scamming my ex-wife! Oh yeah, I figured that peanut-brained idiot would do something like this. Oriko! There you are, you scammer! If you apologize now and give me back the $30,000, I'll forgive you. What the hell are you talking about? I'm the victim here! Then I have nothing to discuss with you. Please talk to my lawyer. Your lawyer? Hello, my name is Kanata Tanaka. I'm Oriko's lawyer. Oh great, another character. Kanata Tanaka? Yep, it's a palindrome. Easy to remember, right? What do you want? Please pay Miss Oriko $30,000. Or else we're gonna have to go to court. So she thinks getting a lawyer is going to intimidate me, huh? Fine, but it's in your interest not to take this case. So you're not gonna take our offer? Nope. Alright, then I'll see you in court. You sure? What the? Yes, I'm sure! You're gonna regret it! Whatever! Last chance to change your mind! I'm not changing my mind! Now get out of my house! And so, Oriko and I went to court. And for the above reasons, my client demands that the defendant pays the $30,000 back to her. Thank you. Your opening statement, sir? I worked my ass off to protect Oriko, day and night. How do you call that a scam? If you ask me, she was the one scamming me! But when my client told you about the debt she was in, why didn't you try to find proof that was actually the case? You probably knew she was lying, but you went along with it to portray yourself as the victim. It was because I trusted her! I knew she wouldn't have wanted me to ask about her addiction, so that's why I didn't ask for proof. That debt she was in, was it because she was investing in FTX? Don't make this video controversial, man! I've heard enough! I'm dismissing this case! Wait, why? What do you mean? I knew this was gonna happen. Miss Oriko, you made up some lie about getting scammed by your ex-husband, and you tried to steal his money! Last time I checked, that's attempted fraud! I'm so sorry, I won't do it again! No, you will not, because you're getting arrested! W what You're my lawyer, aren't you? Defend me! Let's fight this together. If you're lucky, you'll only have to be in there for around three years. All right, figure the rest out yourselves. Wait, Hiroshi! What is going to happen to me? And after that, Oriko and her boyfriend were arrested for attempted fraud. What the hell were they trying to do? Excuse me, are you in need of a lawyer? What the hell are you here for? If you need help with anything, anything at all, please tell me. I need a job. God, how did this guy even pass the bar exam? Thank you for watching all the way till the end. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. And if you have time, please check out our other videos as well. Alright then, see you next time. Bye.